readers, it's Miss Bushman. Today we are going to work on another good reader behavior. When good readers read, they look for similarities and differences in themes when reading traditional literature such as fables. Good readers always want to look for the author's message or theme. The theme in a story is what the author wants us to learn about life. There are so many themes in the books and stories we read. Today, we are going to look at two fables. After reading each fable, we will work together to find the problem and solution in order to determine the theme. Let's first look at the story, The Ant and the Dove. Follow along with me as I read this fable. The Ant and the Dove. An ant went to the river to get a drink of water. But the rush of water carried him away, and the ant was now struggling to save his life. A dove, sitting on a tree overhanging the river, saw the ant struggle. The dove immediately took a leaf and let it fall into the water close to the ant, so that he could climb on it. Thus, the ant was saved. A few days later, a hunter came and saw the dove sitting in the same tree. The ant happened to be nearby, and seeing the hunter, knew the dove would be harmed. So the ant bit the hunter in the foot, causing him to yell. The noise startled the dove, and she flew safely away. If you are nice to someone, they in turn may be nice to you. After reading this story, I can see that both characters faced big problems. The ant was struggling to save his life after getting carried away in a river. The dove was about to be harmed by a hunter when sitting in a tree. In order to overcome these problems, each character helped each other. The dove helped the ant by giving him a leaf from the tree so he could be saved, and the ant bit the hunter in order to protect the dove. After looking at the problem and solution to the story, I can tell that the author wants us to learn something. The theme or author's message was listed at the bottom of the story. Let's take a look at the theme. If you are nice to someone, they in turn may be nice to you. The author wants us to learn that we should treat each other the way we want to be treated. Each character in the story was kind to each other, and their kindness was, in fact, returned. Now I'm going to look at another fable. This fable is called The Fox and the Stork. I'm going to read in order to find the problem, solution, and theme, just like I did with the first story. Follow along. The Fox and the Stork At one time, the fox and the stork were on visiting terms and seemed very good friends. So the fox invited the stork to dinner. But the fox decided to play a joke on the stork and put nothing before her but some soup in a very shallow dish. This the fox could easily lap up, but the stork could only wet the end of her long bill in it. She left the meal as hungry as when she came. I am sorry, said the fox. The soup is not to your liking. Do not apologize, said the stork. I hope you will return this visit and come and dine with me soon. So the day came when the fox went to visit the stork. But when they were seated at table, their dinner was in a very long-necked jar with a narrow mouth. The fox could not insert his snout. All he could manage to do was to lick the inside of the jar. I will not apologize, said the stork. This time it was the fox that went home hungry. If you are mean to someone, they may be mean to you in return. After reading this story, I can see that both characters faced a problem. Can you figure out the problem of the stork? The stork could not eat the soup because it was in a short, shallow dish. When thinking about the solution to this problem, I can see that the stork did the same thing to Fox. Stork gave Fox his dinner in a jar with a narrow opening. The characters in this story did not help each other like the characters in the first. After looking at the problem and solution to the story, I can tell that the author wants us to learn something. The theme or author's message was listed at the bottom of the story. 
Let's take a look at the theme in red. If you are mean to someone, they may be mean to you in return. This theme teaches us that we should treat each other the way that we want to be treated. Even though the stories were different, they both had characters that faced problems. And these problems taught us a lesson. While one story used positive events and one story used negative events, they both taught us the same lesson. Each story showed us that being kind is important and we should treat each other the way we want to be treated. Readers, I hope you enjoyed reading fables in order to learn about theme. Now when you read, you should be able to find the theme or the author's message.